talk about functions. Functions are like operators in that something will happen when we use them. A function is like a macro. If you've ever used a macro in a program like Word or Excel, when you run the macro, a bunch of things happen. Uh, some moves in the program will happen. A function is a little like that. When we call a function, it executes built-in code to process a value. Let's look at a simple example, and then we'll come back to this example in a moment. Here we have a string, and you can tell it's a string because the value is encased in quotes. Y is that string. When we pass Y to len, len is a function that we're now calling, we get back five. That's because len is designed to tell us the length of a string, how many characters are in a string. And in fact, x uh, is an integer because it's counting how many. So a function executes code. We don't see the code. The code is more or less built into the language. When we call a function, it takes an argument and a return value. If you go back to this, y is the argument and x is the return value. In other words, the function is processing a value from right to left. We like to say that we pass an argument to len. So y is the argument that we are passing to len. When we activate this len function, len expects us to pass a string to it so it can tell us the length of the string and len returns an integer. So a function, any function, will take an argument and return a return value. We'll see other functions in the future that don't necessarily do either, but for now. This function takes an argument and returns a return value. So when we think about a function, your thinking should be focused on the following. First off, what is the function's purpose? What is the type of argument that it expects? And what is the type of return value that it returns? Now the quizzing application is going to allow you to memorize a lot of these things. For instance, you'll memorize that len expects a string. When we pass a string to len, we get back an integer. Why? Because this is how this macro works. It takes a string as an argument and returns an integer that is the, and the value of the integer is the number of characters that were in that string. Looking at the semantics, and in particular the syntax, len is the name of the function. The parentheses represent the call. When we see a parentheses after a name, that means that we're calling that function. The call is what activates the function. So without the parentheses, we wouldn't be calling the function. We must have parentheses to call the function. Again, y is the argument and x is the return value. We're going to be using functions alongside of operators to do all kinds of operations on our code. We're going to see other entities that also do operations, but the functions and the operators are two of the main players in processing data. In the next few videos, we'll be looking at specific functions and how they work, and we'll be memorizing how each one works, both in terms of what object type it expects and what object type it returns.